All right, this is part <clears throat> two. I had to step out for a moment. And actually, I have a confession to make. I actually recorded part two. And it was intense. And I forgot to press the save button. <laughs> and, it, and I lost it. I forgot to save it. Member of staff came, knocked on the door. There was something urgent to do with outside. I thought, you know, I'd come back and I'd just hit the save button when I get back. And I came back and I think it'd gone. And I don't know if I can actually muster up the energy to do that again because I talked deliberately about quite a few things. But let's see. Part one, we're talking about my disclaimer. This is what everything is about. It's about the disclaimer. I was talking about why I do these videos, what I'm about, what I represent, the experiences that I've had, and why they might appear to be simplistic. Uh, because I don't deal with anything, I wouldn't say the word controversial, but I don't deal with anything heavy. Because I'm not an authority over anything heavy. I would only deal with what I can defend. The only thing I can defend is what I originate. If I did not originate that piece of information, I cannot defend it. And I stand by this. This is how I live, how I have chosen to live. I don't want to be able to defend something that I didn't originate simply because it is somebody else's uh, piece of information. I'm only regurgitating it. Yeah? I take it in whatever flavor I want to give it, I just regurgitate it. So it's basically it's my perception. And the thing about information that you didn't originate, your perception will differ from every other person's perception. And that's that's like, you know, that's that's just a recipe for an argument. And I don't like getting into arguments anymore, especially over our information. I mean there's so much information out there you can find anything you want to find. You don't need to have it verified by me and you don't need to have it um, defended by me either. I'm not here to do that. Uh, I used to do that a long time ago on Facebook. You know, people would come uh, and comment on a lot of things that I write on Facebook, my own philosophies. And in fact, there was once when I actually put down the poem that I wrote. And a lady came on Facebook and she said that it would be it was that what it was impossible for someone like me to have written something like that. How do you defend that? Something Deepak Chopra said, and, and I go back to that. He said, I go back to that quite often, especially after I hit 40, 45. Start thinking about that a lot. He says. You must lose your attachment to the defense of your point of view. That way there's no room to attack. Lose your attachment to the defense of your point of view. Not much to unbundle that You can't unbundle it yourself. You get attached to the defense of your point of view. So you're, you're in an argument and you're defending your point of view. That attachment is also based on you trying to gain energy talked about that extraction of energy from people makes you feel like you've won something when you have that feeling of you know euphoria you, you just extracted energy from the other person the other person feels depleted feel like they've lost something it's basically energy 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 and a lot of us for one reason or the other, we don't access that from the divine source, which you can do through prayer and meditation, standing under the sunlight, you know, being in nature, just appreciating things that are beautiful, opening your heart to be in a loving state. All that fills you up and you feel, you know, you, you have enough to burn. And uh, so I, I tried to avoid, I, I, with the Facebook thing, I just stopped. I, I mean, a disclaimer there, I said that I, I do not respond to comments. And I have done to a few when I felt like it was absolutely necessary to. But uh, I never stretched it too far, just a little bit, and then I'm, I'm done. This is personal for me. This whole experience is about my personal growth. It's about me 
learning to love with less fear, falling in love with myself, learning to appreciate who I am and to see value in what I have to say. 50 years old, like I said, I've had a lot of experiences. I am comfortable to the point where I can actually afford my conveniences. So that's my idea of comfort. And I've been able to create something that works in different environments, replicated, basically. But here yeah, I've done it even better. You know, I have a decent business, you know, I would say a mid-sized business, you know, got close to 100 employees, that sort of thing. And it took time, it took a lot of effort, took a lot of work, took a lot of dedication and a lot of sacrifice. And in, in doing all that, in, in being able to accomplish all that, I learned a lot about myself. Uh, me and my wife, we used to work in the same office, sit down in the same office, opposite each other, for three years, maybe even more. Would quarrel at home, would come to work, we still have to work, would look at each other and try and be professional. Would have a big fight, we might not even speak to each other for a couple of days, and, but we still have to work. How? that affected work, but how that affected me and my perception of her. That's useful information. You know, that's useful information. How did I overcome all that? How did I, how did we, despite all these other situations that we had, where, how were we able to stabilize and build a business as we have done? And still have a family and still be able to nurture a relationship that is as interesting and as attractive as it is. You know, so many things that I've been through, and this is what I want to share. Books I've read, experiences that I've had, information that I've had, different types of experiences I've had growing up in England, living in a small time I spent in Finland, travels that I've had, you know, so many things. There's just so much, there's a wealth of information that I have inside of me. And I feel like it's the time to share that information, see if it can be of benefit to anybody else other than just me. But I don't want to share anything that is superficial. I want to share what is real. I want to share something that is measurable, something that you can see, feel, touch. You can understand, you can intuit. I want to share something that is based on an experience with a result that has come from that experience. A measurable result. Use the word measurable again. A measurable result. So like, there's a guy called Sadhguru. Indian guru. Very wise guy. And I was having problems. And I listened to one of his videos and he said, try one thing. What do you try? Wake up in the morning before you touch your telephone, smile. Just smile from inside, but feel the smile in your tummy. Smile, that kind of smile that really you can feel. And I tried it. A couple of weeks later, my staff were like, wow, boss, you're so different. I could feel it. There was an improvement. Now I would recommend that for somebody because I've tried it, I tested it, it works. It's something that works. So that's the whole point, rather than in, the, in, in this our superficiality, this world of so much sensationalism, we just stay away from that. How do we improve from day to day? It doesn't matter what we do. How do we improve from day to day? The self, not the things that are happening on the outside. We would all be able to deal with that when we find our own uh, niche space that we want to stay in. But the self, how do I improve this vessel that has this spirit and soul encapsulated within. How do I improve that? How do I improve the way I am? The why I am. Discover the why I am, improve the way I am. Sorry, flip that off. That's the focus. That's the focus. You can imagine, I did a 15 minute tape, uh, video, got lost. I've done 10 minutes already. And I still feel like there's so much more to talk about. But I'm going to cut this one off here because it's just a disclaimer. That's, that's a, exactly what I wanted to talk about today. My disclaimer to be able to say, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. These are, 
this would be the modus operandi of what I am doing. So if you expect something different, then you might as well go somewhere different. I have a YouTube channel. It's called uh, youtube.com slash user slash E-A-P-E-N-U, e a p e n u. It would be, you'd see it at the end of the video. Go there, you click on subscribe, like the videos, um, share them with whoever you want to share them with, if they're going to benefit from it. If you have benefited from anything that I say, it'd be nice to share, just to pay it forward. That's the whole idea, because I benefited from what other people said to me, and I'm able to pay that forward too, through what I am saying to you. You know, it, it generosity doesn't have to be based on physical money. A smile, <laughs> it's enough. You walk down the road and you see somebody who's miserable and you smile. You smile from inside. And if it does anything, it does anything. You know, you do things without expecting a reward or expecting a reaction. You just do it because you feel good doing it and you know that what you're doing is constructive. I don't, I tend to run away from the word positive. Yeah, personal reasons. Maybe three videos in front. So, uh, like, subscribe, share. Uh, I would be doing more. I, I'm really enjoying the experience. You can see I'm more confident talking. I feel, I feel, I, I enjoy them. I, I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm enjoying this experience, making all these short vids and talking and doing what I do with the MED conversations. You should check that out. The conversations are very nice with Dawn and, and Moni. Um, there's going to be a channel set up for that, but you can still find all the MED conversations on my YouTube channel as well. My daughter has a YouTube channel. She's doing very well too. It's a way of just getting the expression out there. I would post this on Instagram as well. And um, yeah, that's it on Facebook as well. So literally all, all the social media platforms I'm on, I just post everything there, you know. So uh, thank you for sharing this time with me. Thank you for giving me your audience. Thank you for listening, I guess. And like I said, if you gain something from anything that I say, feel free to share it. Um, I have, I'm setting up my website where I'd actually put links to books and recommendations, things that I read and, and a lot of different things. There'll be more specific uh, things to do with uh, sensitive topics and all that. But uh, every day we'll vibe like this, share information and feelings and all that and uh, see how we can work towards making the world a better place by making ourselves better people. So. Uh, at the end of the video, my son, who's a music producer, you would actually hear his track. It plays for about one and a half minutes. I support him. He's really cool. He's doing some really amazing things. All our advertisements, he writes all the jingles for all our advertisements. His handle is Humble Demi. Check him out at the end of the video. Much love. Have a lovely day and uh, God bless. Bye. See these dreams only seem to manifest when I'm woke I'll bite the wings off an angel if that shit helps me cope But on this downhill stream where we tumble and roll It seems I only find solace in a couple of folks Yeah man I'm grown now I'm trying to move up on my own now So I don't need no pronouns no intention of this slowdown So tell me what you're thinking I might tell you about my own sound I'll tell you what I'm sipping Stare you down in your eyes Like I wanna know your visions Where your goals at would you want from me? Would you run from me if I told you just how my soul's cracked? But, see, I guess we're all damaged and But, I guess it's hard to find balance Especially when lean's dripping outside of your chalice Got me walking tight ropes between greatness and madness Got me walking tight ropes between greatness and madness I'm just a lonely samurai, I sharpen blades and sip potions Medicate the mental in these foreign scapes with my Jones This ain't something that I'm new to Originals, we ain't no Mewtwo I hope they get the message like it's Bluetooth Like tell me, would I lose you? Wait, how?